my name is Lyndall Grant and I am one of the tutors here at the Victorian College of the Arts specialising in stage combat. So today we're going to have a look at one way we can do a stage combat punch specifically for stage as opposed to, to film or for motion capture. So to help me out I have a friend here, Amy, because you need to punch someone. And today we're going to have a look at a punch which we call a stacked punch. Called a stacked punch because one person is stacked in front of the other relative to the audience. The priority with this is always safety. So go to fight director, a stunt coordinator, uh, just making sure that one, the most appropriate punch is chosen, but two, you're doing it safely and effectively for the way that you need it for the audience and the story as well, okay? So this is one of the tricks that we use in stage combat, which is the fact that the audience can't perceive depth. Now, the further away the audience are from us, the more that this technique works. Looks a little bit something like this. <coughs> so if you come around the wrong way and look at the punch the way it shouldn't be played for the audience, and we do exactly the same punch again, so what you can see is that I'm not punching Amy. There's a lot of distance between my fist and her face. This is important. So first safety principle is out of distance. Second safety principle, we have eye contact. Because if I throw a punch when Amy's not looking, well one, I might hit her and that's just awkward. Uh, but two, if she's not ready, chances are she's not gonna time her reaction properly. And that just looks a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Very weird. The next thing is preparation. I'm going to prepare my punch. Now for this one, I'm taking it out to the side so that Amy can see it coming, the audience can see it coming, but also to do with the journey my punch has to make. Effectively, if I draw a line from the audience's eye line to Amy's face, the gag works when my hand passes in front of that line. But for this audience member over here though, if I draw that line from their eyes across to her face, you can see my fists would probably cross that line about here. So when I'm throwing the punch, I have to pick up all of those eye lines. So if I'm gonna do this punch for an audience that goes like this, then my fist needs to go from here all the way across to there. Now Amy's also making a sound, which is called a nap, K-N-A-P, and Amy's making it by hitting on her chest. The best way to make a nap is to imagine that you're holding your hand with a very small amount of water in it, find just below your collarbone and then bounce the hand off. Most important of all for safety, um, I don't want to change this distance between us. So one of the things I can do is make sure I'm on balance before and after the hit. So if I'm punching with the right hand, I'm gonna have the left foot in front and I'm gonna make sure that my heels stay on the ground. So you can see here that I can't actually reach Amy, but as I now just lift my heel off the ground, it's gonna take me from out of distance when I don't hit her to in distance when I do. So distance, eyes, preparation. As I go past her face, she turns her head and makes the nap. So that's just one way of doing a stack punch for stage. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that and happy punching. Pull over. <laughs> She's all right, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>